Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is go back and forth and uh, what you can do is go ahead and reprogram the valve to se sequences 3 and sequence 4. You can zero out and basically what you want to do is do the back flush and the uh, uh, rapid rinse uh, several more times until your water starts running clear. Okay, uh, if you did get the system with the hydrogen peroxide side tank, we're now going to show you how to hook that up. And basically that's going to go from the tank here up to the draw, uh, chlorine draw valve or the hydrogen peroxide draw valve right here on the side of the, uh, the valve. Okay, the first thing we'll do is go ahead and hook up to the hydrogen peroxide of the tank. Basically you have your float assembly here. So we're going to go ahead and feed the tube through here, loosen this uh, compression fitting up, and you can feel it, you slide it until it stops, and then this will be hand tightened. Okay, the other end of the tube is going to the side of the valve here. This is a black piece, plastic piece here is a stopper. So we'll go ahead and loosen this compression fitting and pull this plug out. So now we'll install this compression fitting. Basically put your B-nut on here. Take your compression fitting and actually it'll be the taper side facing the end of the tube. Give yourself a little room there. You're just going to press that guy in until it goes in all the way. And then thread this on. and go ahead and tighten. Okay, now you're going to want to take your hydrogen peroxide, 7% hydrogen peroxide. Uh, we do sell this here at the store. You're going to want to put a gallon of this into your tank. And again, be careful not to get this on your clothes. your float assemblies set in there straight and we'll go ahead and put the lid back on okay now that we've got our system completely set up I uh, wanted to show you how to install the backup battery uh, just in case the power goes out uh, so again the detents on the front and back just slightly split those apart the cover will come right off and right up underneath here there is a little shelf. We'll just plug our 9 volt battery in. And light him right in there. And your backup battery is installed. And throw your dust cover lid back on. Okay, that completes our assembly instructions for the Sulfur Air Clean Water Systems setup. Thanks for watching and have a great day.